Williams, Ginger Lee, Dominic, Gianfrancesco, Tracy Quintana, Parker Sperry, Katie Markman. Good morning, everybody. Morning, guys. The list, list keeps growing. Cool. Yeah, we'll let you guys log in. Um, I'll introduce Eric here in a, a couple minutes, uh, but we do have a guest speaker that you guys all saw on the Monday update and then hopefully on the, the feed. We mentioned it. We'll kind of jump in here. Uh, my partner, Stacy, should be here shortly. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she was on the hotline returning calls and emails. It's like, oh my gosh, I haven't even gotten ready for the sales meeting yet. So <laughs> she'll be here in a second. Um, but let's uh, welcome some new agents. Um, Paul, you brought in a ton of people last month, some, some great new agents. And uh, are we mailing? We need a mail. Let's mail our e-pins. I'm going to mail you guys your e-pins because we were saying, well, we'll hand them out at the next sales meeting. Well, I don't know when the next sales meeting is, guys. And when well, is that going to be? Geez, you know, and, and I, I get the people ask me, hey, when are we going to do it? We really miss everyone. And yeah, we totally miss being in person. The guidelines have not changed. Uh, even though we've been in this pandemic now for, I think, five months, uh, maybe even six, I don't know, it feels like forever, the guidelines have not changed. And there's this calculation that you have to go through to figure out how many people can be in a space. And the large conference room, so you guys know the large conference room at Smedra, the big one, 20 people. 20 people can be in there. We can normally hold almost 200 people in that and we can have 20 and then we have to actually put little guidelines of you walk in this entrance and you have to exit this in so Smedra's not doing any meetings we're not doing any meetings until this loosens up a little bit and so I don't know when it's going to be so I will get you your e-pins mailed to you um, and, and make that a little easier so let's welcome uh, look at all these people that we just brought in some great agents too um, we got Joyce Benelli and Eric Oh, how do you pronounce Eric's last name, Paul? Mich oh, oh, Eric Briol. Uh, Briol. 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 Yes. yes. And Jennifer Lockridge, Emily Carlos, Jamie Jensen, Tia Cross, Taylor Ford, Sean McTavy, Lauren Miles, David Anderson. So you guys all came last month. So welcome. We're excited to have you guys here. Um, we'll get you your cool little e-pin. You might not even know what we're talking about. Maybe Paul shows you when he was interviewing you online again yeah we haven't even been to the office yeah so one quick note there were even some more faces that i wasn't able to add to this image so just a quick reminder if you've joined us and you're not included on that image send us your photo we would love to promote you yeah for the company just like this that's what those photos are used for so lots and lots of great people and thank you for your referrals most of these people joining were referrals and it's the ultimate compliment when you send us great people because you're growing the company with outstanding individuals. So that's what I wanted to quickly chime in with, Todd. No, that's perfect. And when we get to Eric here in just like two minutes, um, you guys, the ones right here, you guys got great photos, great headshots. Paul makes a really cool introduction letter and puts you onto our Facebook group and then onto the company page. And then we tag you and hopefully you're sharing that. Uh, but in the market center, uh, created by Breakthrough Broker, you have a really cool way to say, I'm now with equity and people need to know and promote. And so I'm sure Eric will probably touch on that. Um, quick on agent referrals. We have a dog. <laughs> they only bark when I get on a call. They only bark when I get on a call. It's unreal. It's like teenage kids. Oh, I'm gonna mute for a second. That's hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, Paul mentioned thanks for the agent referrals. Mindy referred Tia and Midge referred Joyce and Amy, Jennifer, Beth, Jamie, Sean uh, referred Manny, Steve referred Kyle. So we, we always appreciate that, guys. So how are we doing with people? We got enough people online now, Paul? Oh, yeah, we're good. We've got a good crowd here. Good morning, everybody who's joined in. I see lots of, of smiling faces online. Awesome. <laughs> I know it's like, I can't wait to see you. Well, I guess I don't even get to see you guys. So make sure you're typing in and saying good morning. Yeah, we're excited that you're here. Yes, um, we will monitor comments as best we can and get back to you. Yeah. 
So I, I am so excited. Um, and I, I guess COVID, there's some good things that have come from COVID, uh, obviously not the health wise, but just from the, the way we're doing business. And I'd say um, utilizing technology more and more uh, is a great thing because Eric Sachs, who is the president, creator, uh, founder of Breakthrough Broker, he is normally traveling all over the country. And for me to get him to come to a sales meeting, I, I mean, I got to plan this a year out and you can catch him in between flights. And it, it's amazing that he comes and does this personally for us. But to grab him sitting at home or wherever he's at on Zoom, just a, you're at home, is a little bit easier. So yeah, I, it's awesome. I, I'm thrilled to have Eric. I'm going to let Eric tell you a little bit about himself. Um, and then I'm going to give him share uh, screen share and let him show the market center. And Paul, did you give him access to our actual market center? Or is he going to show your own? Do no, I, I have, I have, um, do you have so equity center access? Yep. Okay. I'll, I'll be live in, in, in the marketing center. Awesome. So further ado, and really Eric, if you took up, take up as much time as you want. I mean, what you have done and who you are and what you've created is amazing. So Paul will watch the questions as they come up, but uh, Perfect. yeah, it, it, go for Perfect. it. Perfect. Well, I'm ready. Let's see if we can share my screen. You have to enable me yeah. as a host. Stacy. Hey, good morning, Eric. How are you? Long time no see. Yeah. You guys. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for spending your morning with us. We really appreciate it. Of course. It. Always... I wish this was in person, but this is what we're at, where we're at now. Well, we're excited <laughs> to get high level energy from you, even online. I love it. I love it. So, so you, you, should, you should have uh, access there, Eric. There we go. So I'm going to share my screen. We're in the Equity Marketing Center and uh, we're kind of ready to go. So guys, a couple things here. I want to get started by saying, uh, you know, one of the, I'm able to speak with thousands of realtors. Break the Broker has 471,000 realtors now. And I'm able to speak with realtors, especially during the pandemic um, from coast to coast. And one of the things I hear from real estate agents a lot is that they don't love their technology. My CRM is bad at this. My 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 flyer maker doesn't do that. And one of the a little tough love here uh, for for any technology that you have at your disposal. What I see is it's not necessarily the technology. It's us as realtors not learning it. And so when I look at the equity marketing center in particular, or anything that I'm helping realtors with, whether it's a CRM or your internal technology, is that sometimes you have to block an hour to learn it. So when we start talking about the marketing center and we start diving into some of this, I would love for you guys to commit to jumping in there and spending one hour clicking around, seeing what's in there, how it works. This is really fortuitous time to do this, guys, because I'm actually meeting uh, with corporate this week um, at the whole company level to start making some upgrades to the system. So we're gonna we're gonna be making the system even better than it already is. But I'm gonna get started, and I'm gonna say first and foremost, I want you guys to make sure that your profile is complete to the best of your ability. Because when you have your pro profile complete, one of the things that this that that you guys we created this for was to save you some time and money right and so and to have it done easily means to have your profile complete because everything from the profile will automatically populate into any marketing item you create so you won't have to re-upload your headshot and your logo and your your cell number and your address and your office number all that stuff is done once if you jump in there and make sure it's as complete as possible okay so jump into your marketing center click on edit profile and make sure everything in there is what you want it to be all right because then it will auto it will auto transfer to any marketing item you create next i want you to think about what's actually in the marketing center because a lot of times we only go into a technology when we need it but maybe there's some stuff in here that you didn't know you could use right now to go out and get 
buyers and sellers. I think, and some of you may or may not know that I owned a brokerage and that my wife's a realtor here in Denver right now. And so I have a front seat to how all this is going. And um, a lot of times, I think we may have lost a little momentum. Todd said when we first got on the call before we started this, that when this whole thing started, he was fielding hundreds of calls, right, Todd? Like, what do I do now? How do we do this? What do we do today? I think we had an amazing momentum for the last nine years that we didn't even know we had, right? And that momentum was like getting hit by a Mack truck. It stopped for a little bit. And then gaining them, that momentum is a little hard. Well, there's stuff inside your marketing center that you can use right now to help you gain that momentum back. And I think, I think also that we, and this isn't a coaching session, but you know, Todd, tell me if, and, and Stacy, tell me if I'm out of line, but I think we need to be educating our sphere of influence, right? They need to know, you shouldn't assume that they know how amazing the market is right now. We shouldn't assume that they know there's multiple offer situations. And, you know, my brother listed three properties last Friday and they were all under contract by 11 a.m. on Saturday. Like he should tell everyone he knows about that so we can start educating our sphere of influence to how things are going. So there's some things in here that we can leverage today to help us with our business and not wait to just be using a flyer or postcard or brochure. So I want you to go to the equity marketing center on the left side, consumer facing infographics. Okay. And if I were in real estate today, I would come into these consumer facing infographics and there's so many things that I would do with this. Most realtors and we run around with our hair on fire. We'd say, Oh, cool. Infographic. Next, what do I do next? I would look at this infographic and use it for eight different things to get engagement from my sphere of influence. What I would do, it's already branded for me. I would download two versions, a PDF and a PNG version. And I would go, I would download this and I would put it in my buyer presentation. I would bring it to every open house I did, or if you're doing virtual open houses, I would have this as a download for your virtual open house. So that's two things right there. I would also put this on my LinkedIn profile, on my profile page. I'd also make it a LinkedIn post. I'd put this on my Facebook stories, my Instagram stories, make it a Facebook and an Instagram post as well. And I would take all of the verbiage and write a blog post. So eight things from one piece of content in your own marketing center to leverage it, to go out and get more business. So if you do all of that in week one, okay, in week two, we can do six reasons to own a home and do the same things. Put it in your LinkedIn profile, post it on your LinkedIn. Okay. Put it on your Facebook stories, your Instagram stories, and then make it a LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram post and take all the wording, write a blog post about it. Okay. So you have eight things in week two. Now in week three, we might go back to all of this and do six tips before selling your home. What would I do with this? I put it in my listing presentation, post it on your, you guessed it, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, put it on my stories as a video. That's week three. So now you're engaging your sphere of influence. You're being better than your competition and you have content at your disposal right inside your marketing center to do these things. So we don't necessarily have to use the marketing center for a flyer or a postcard. Once we finally get a listing, we can jump in the marketing center and find content in there right now to leverage, to go out and be present on our social media. You can put this inside an email. Okay, if you download it as a PNG, you can share it as an email. You can post it on your Facebook right out of the system. But this content is in there for you. It's ready, it's done, it's helpful, and it can be leveraged right away for you guys to stay in front of your sphere of influence. Okay, so that section is consumer facing infographics. Okay. And the videos aren't in there, but maybe we'll get those videos in there shortly as well. Okay. 
So when we're back in the marketing center, let's stay in marketing right now and see what we can use in our social media, right? So we have social media graphics, okay? And I don't know if you know, we have a new Instagram platform, so you can actually create um, an open house or, or a just listed, and then you can text it to yourself, okay? And then post it directly to Instagram. You save it on your phone, go to your Instagram, upload it right there. So you can create Instagram posts right from your equity marketing center. We'll let that render for a second. It was sent to my phone. I save it. I go to Instagram and I post it. Okay. So these are all inside the system. Okay. And available for you guys to leverage right now. The other thing guys, you know, I believe if you don't have a listing that just sold, okay the company does right so as we're in here we have just listed just sold okay we go into our description and we can say um you know nine offers in two days sold at 110 percent, and then you're done you put your photos in there and you post this on your instagram and it can be a company listing, right? So you're, you're, you're getting it out there. You're trying to get people to know you're the one realtor that they need to use when they know 10 others, the content is in the system already for you guys to leverage. Okay. And it's pretty robust. There's a lot of content in here. If you haven't spent your hour on your marketing center, when you do, I think you're going to be a little surprised, right? And so the whole idea is to know what's in here. Once you know what's in here, then you're going to be able to leverage it for so many different things than you thought. Unfortunately, I feel like a lot of us wait till we need something to get to learn it. And so hopefully by doing this right now, you're going to realize that there's stuff in here. Um, this letter's already written for you. You may need to change some of the statistics but there's tons of low inventory, right? So when you're done, you can actually upload your database and we will print stamp label and mail, or you can send a low inventory prospecting letter. Um, let's do, I live in Centennial. So we'll do a low inventory prospecting letter to my neighborhood. And traditionally this would pop up it, it this is this widget's actually down it was down starting yesterday we're fixing it but it'll pop up how many records are in there and you'll click attach and we'll print stamp label and mail right out of our system so there's prospecting tools in here that you guys may not have known existed for you guys to leverage to go out and get the business so it's not just a flyer maker it's not just a postcard maker there's some prospecting content in here that I want you to be aware of so that you leverage this platform every day. You find something in here, you know, take a real estate terminology PDF and post it on your Facebook. Okay. All of these things, you know, the buyer questionnaire, the buyer's packet, all of these things are in the system. If you guys have some downtime right now, complete your trusted providers page. It's, it's really a helpful document for you um, as you get through finding and, and trying to leverage content in the system. We're going to go from marketing to planning. Obviously, I think that right now we should have a new marketing action plan. Whatever plan you did in December and January needs to be thrown out the window and and we need to do a new marketing action plan. So you can do a five month sprint right now create your marketing action plan guys. Okay. And when, once this is done, if you guys get to the bottom here, you'll actually be able to go just go to September or August and then write exactly what you're going to do every day, September, October, November, and December to try to get in 
a little momentum before we head into 2021. And I know some of you are crushing it. The market's hot, we're, we're kicking butt. I believe that if we're resting on what's going on right now, we're gonna see another loss of momentum January and February because we forgot that while we were busy, we need to keep marketing ourselves to our sphere, to whatever our marketing plan was. So go in and create a new marketing action plan. Uh, there's a workshop here for you guys that we go step by step and you guys can fill it out with us as we do um, the marketing action plan. Are there any questions coming in guys as I'm going through this? We're taking a look, not yet. So yeah, okay, I think cool. everyone's just like, oh wow. my, and, and, and I love what you said there, Eric. Yeah, we got a piggyback on that. <clears throat> yeah, uh, about people don't do things until it's important to them. Or until they need or it. Or until they need it. Yeah, and, right. and you know, I, and I know I'm gonna have someone in here going, hey, can we have a class? Well, sure, I do a class and then, you know, I get 10 people out of 300 showing up. And then if you missed the class, if I don't have another class, you're not going to dig in. So right. everyone who's listening or who's going to end up watching this, do exactly what Eric said. You got to dive in by yourself and you just got to start playing with it and then take notes on the side that say, oh, Eric said I should send this out in week one. Oh, that's right. My marketing plan. So I'll write that in my marketing plan. I'm going to send and where can I send that again? And you, you, you got to take some time. You know, you got you got to sit down with yourself and do a power hour, shut off the phone, turn off your Facebook, and do a little bit of crunch time and see what this can do and how you can leverage it. Just like you said, I, I love it. Yeah, guys, and, and again, it, it's so important to play with this because what we've created and, and what, what, what Todd and Stacy's team has created with us is a lot of content. And so as you look through here, there may be stuff in here you didn't even know you had access to at the tip of your fingers in real time, and you'll be a little surprised. And so, um, guys, it's so easy. You you can't be afraid of it. If you can drag and drop and you can type in a box, you can create a flyer really quickly. We have some really cool updates coming. We do have an MLS plugin feature where you can type in an MLS number and it'll auto populate. I'm going to be working with your teams on that. We have the automated marketing package, which I believe we're going to redo for you guys. Um, and so there are a lot of things that you should keep an eye on in the future that we're going to be bringing to the equity marketing center that make it faster, better, stronger. But right now, again, if you don't have an amazing buyer presentation, and, and you guys should, because I think we fall short. Everyone, all of us have this great listing presentation, but we don't have a great buyer presentation. Take a couple hours during your day to create your new buyer presentation, right? And it's all here in the system and you guys can leverage it and download it and um, have that ready when it's time. Don't wait till you need it. So I would say we could spend all day going through this one by one, but really I wanted to show you the capabilities, and you guys got to go in here and find what you like, what can work with you guys, okay? Um, and so, again, you have to ask permission of, of Todd and Stacy, but I think you can get just sold postcards out right now to your sphere of influence to really educate them that even if it's a just a company listing, I want my sphere knowing, oh my gosh, things are selling like crazy right now. So a lot of realtors like are just waiting and you can leverage the company listings to be promoting to your own sphere of influence. Okay, guys. So I think that's something that we need to work on. And, and we're also going to start moving towards in template editing. So you guys can actually drag and drop and click on the actual template and we'll, we'll get those um, situated for you guys too. And some really cool upgrades. Uh, Stacy, Todd, did I miss anything? Do you guys, anything else you want me to go over with the team? Oh, this has been great. Yeah, just being able to show them some of those marketing pieces. And, you know, like you said, there's so much content in all these little tabs and toggles that, I mean, we could spend hours <laughs> demoing everything. Yeah, and, and when you said, you know, if you don't have a listing that's sold or new to the market, definitely leverage the company. Um, and, and what I asked is that, you know, we get permission from that agent, you know, 
Yes. Say if Stacy has a, 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 a new listing or a recent sale, call Stacy up and say, hey, can I advert? And, and of course we're going to say sure. And, and that's the perfect image you just put up. And you'll, you'll say, we, we just sold. We just right. listed, so exactly. you don't you don't make it sound like you did it, but we did, and we did yep. do it. So, you bet. Let's see. Uh, Paul's got his hand up. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I raised my hand. We assume. Hey, like, what's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to quickly ask Eric. Can you elaborate on the pro prospecting a little bit further? Um, one of the number one questions I get in inter interviews and agents who are starting out, uh, you know, who do you use to mail out? postcards like you mentioned and should i contact a title company to create some flyers and i always try to tell them we've got all this stuff built into our marketing center yep. and is it somebody local that's creating those mailers those letters that you mentioned that are being mailed out so um the letters are local the flyers are local and i believe our 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 direct mail platform is probably one of the best in the industry. So if you're doing a just listed here, if you order this before noon mountain time, it's in the mail same day. Now this service is done um, through Dallas, Texas, but it's in the mail same day. So if you wanna do a just listed postcard, you type in some about the property, you put, here's our drag and drop, okay? And you guys can make sure you like this image all that stuff is ready for you guys. When you're ready to go, you're going to either upload a mailing list or purchase a mailing list, and we will print, stamp, label, and mail same day if ordered before noon, okay? And your print pricing is all um, in the system. So you can just click on the, the dollar amount here and you'll see how much it costs each, ask, each item, and you can do it right through the system. So when somebody asks you that, you say, we do it. Now, I believe we have the best printer in the industry for direct mail, and it's out of Dallas, Texas. And our other, our, our, our drop ship printing for flyers is based out of Denver, Colorado. I love it. You guys have really built the perfect system. And again, these questions are to emphasize that equity agents, you have everything you would need and more right there in Elevate through the Marketing Center. Thanks for touching on that, Eric. Absolutely. Absolutely. What else, guys? Yeah, does anybody who's watching today have any questions specific to the Market Center or something for Eric since we've got him here? If you do, go ahead and type it in the comment section and I'll watch um, and we'll get those questions answered. But guys, again, keep it, so go play with it. Keep an eye out for some new stuff. Uh, we're gonna be working on some new tech for the, for the Marketing Center and I think you guys are gonna love it. Awesome. awesome. Love it, Eric. So I'm stop sharing so I can yeah, let's, let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's get back to seeing everyone. There you are. So not that you're traveling a lot right this minute, um, but you do hear a lot of what's going on in the industry. I mean, because you're, you're talking to companies all over. Mm -hmm. um, I know you work with us with the, the market center. I know EXP. Uh, has your market center. I mean, so, I mean, you're working with big companies on this market center, um, but what, what else are you seeing right now in the industry? And, and for those that don't know Eric, Eric owned his own company, a very successful real estate brokerage up in Fort Collins. So he's a local boy, uh, sold that company um, and then created this uh, amazing platform. So yeah, you're real plugged in for yeah. sure. Thank you. Yeah, we spoke, you know, we've been doing, like I said, we're, we're doing almost 40 webinars a week. Um, starting with COVID, we've been able to speak with, uh, did interviews with Tom Ferry, Mike Ferry, did interviews with eight of the top 20 realtors in all of North America. And uh, it's really interesting. I'm seeing a lot. So Tom Ferry, and you either love him or hate him, and either way you fall for Tom, said he feels like 60% 60, 60 of the realtors in America took a 12 week vacation. Um, they're seeing, we were seeing confusion, anxiety, and a lot of the, the, the feelings we had internally um, turned into inactivity. And so one of the things we are expecting and I hate about our industry, you know, the industry in general is 90, 10, 10% of the realtors are selling 90% of the homes. We are afraid that the top producers are gonna extend their lead on the rest of the industry. 
Um, and so if, if I were in real estate and, and I'm, I'm kind of coaching my wife every day into this is, is we just have to keep the momentum. If you wake up every morning, you have to think what momentum am I going to build today? A cup. And, and it's funny of the top producing agents I've talked to, and I'm not always the biggest fan of top producers. Um, but, but these guys and gals were great people. And one of the things I heard, I experienced myself they felt this innate urge to pick up the phone the day one on lockdowns they just started calling people and these are realtors that have staffs right they have their own teams and agents and assistants but they felt this urge to pick up the phone and what's really funny is i did too on this on day one i just felt this urge to start calling people and calling our title partners and calling our, our our mortgage partners and our realtors and and um the urge for us to connect and just say, stay in front of people, even though we're home and on Zoom, I feel has really helped a a segment of our industry stay busy through this. And so if I'm talking to the whole team as a whole, um, create momentum for yourself, make make a five calls every day. And what are those calls? They're to past clients, friends, coworkers, and that the call is really easy. It's easier now than ever because before the pandemic, it was hard to call someone that we hadn't called in two years. Right. And now the call is super easy. And it, the dialogue is, hey, everything we're going through right now has me thinking of you. I wanted to call to see how you're doing. So past clients that you dropped the ball on, and we all have those um, that we haven't kept great touch with, that call is so easy, right? Now. Hey, the current crisis has me thinking of you. It's fun to know how you guys are doing. We haven't talked in a couple of years. So... I think if we're creating momentum every day, making a Facebook post, making a few phone calls, staying engaged in in our sphere of influence, because I believe firmly that our sphere, someone in your sphere is gonna wanna buy or sell in the next two months, right? Someone, Mm -hmm. for reasons, maybe they lost their jobs, maybe they kept their job, maybe they got killed in the stock market and they wanna buy real estate now instead of get back in the stock market, maybe, you know, it, there's a, a plethora of reasons, right? I was, I play on a ten, old guys tennis league and we had our last match last night. We stuck around and had beer and brats afterwards and everyone was talking real estate. Hmm. I, there was no realtors in this group and everyone was talking real estate. It was crazy, hmm. right? And so they were, a couple of the guys are thinking of buying some investments, a couple of the guys, um, their kids, they, they told their kids it's the right time to buy a house right now. It was nuts. I came home and told my wife, oh my God, you're in the best industry right now. You're, you're like gonna kill it. Everyone's talking real estate. But also everyone in your sphere knows five or six or seven other realtors. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I think it's a great time to step up and be a leader in your sphere of influence right now and be that one realtor that they choose because you were seen and visible and engaging and all those things. Sorry, I got you. Got no, me on the list. No, that's great advice. Yeah, and that's but, what we're um, hearing. We're hearing that from. I don't our want agents. you know. It, it's inherent that on this call, there's probably a couple of those top top producers, and the rest of us are working really hard to make a living in this business. And if you're working really hard to make a living in this business, you have to create momentum for yourself every day. Love it. I mean, it's, it's yeah. really that simple. Yeah. I, I, you got to do something every day, every yeah. day. To, you got to keep moving forward and. Yeah, uh, when I talk to our agents, those that are really killing it right now, they did exactly what you said. They just reached out to people. Yeah. They weren't, you know, hey, I'm looking and buying and selling. No, they're just saying, how are you? I'm Why stuck at home. Doing? What are you doing? Yeah. And they're just yeah. reaching out. And like you said, then people start talking, going, yeah, my house has gotten really small. <laughs> my kids are we're all on top of, of each course. other. I mean, so yeah. yeah, they're the ones that are killing it and the ones that are like, hiding and you know in the corner of their house waiting for this to blow over right they're still in the corner and they're not doing anything well and again eric i think you made such a really good point about we can't assume that people know what's going on in the market because we're in the trenches every day we know sales prices went up seven percent in july we're up nine percent year over year but our clients don't know that 
So when they're sitting at home going, where am I gonna homeschool my kids at this year? Where's my husband gonna home office? Our backyard is too small. We can't right. function in this house, but they don't realize how much equity they have in their home. And you place that phone call saying, hey, I was thinking about you just checking in. And they said, the walls are closing in on us. And you say, let me run a complimentary market evaluation. And they realize they have 150,000 in their house. That changes the whole ball game. So it's educating people too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we did so, have a question, a um, couple questions. So Tracy Quintana says, can the postcards go to just a couple of streets or do you have to mail by neighborhood or by zip code? You can, you can outline the streets in your polygon when you create it. There's a minimum of 50, so you have to have 50 home. Right. Okay. okay, perfect. So minimum of 50, Tracy. Um, Terry Cooper just has more of a comment. I've exclusively used the Marketing Center Breakthrough Broker for my listing brochures, open house flyers, and presentations. Love the ease and quality and look forward to some new stuff. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. Nice. We're working with your, your group on that. So. Cool. Great. Yeah, feedback. you mentioned uh, the automatic marketing. Is that still happening or not happening? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's still happening. Okay. because. I don't get to see them because I don't take listings. Yeah, so, I'll yeah. double check on all that, and, and it's still, it should be still listing? happening. Mm -mm, I didn't see one. Okay, let's double check that. Cause... I'll check. Yeah, I can't lie and tell you that RE Colorado's been easy to work <laughs> no, with. No, they're the, yeah. <laughs> challenging. Yeah, they're definitely challenging, but they're trying. Yeah. They are trying to. You know, we got a new CEO, and they're trying to yeah, soften some things up. If there's anything I can do on that side to help yeah, you, I'll let me know. You. <laughs> let me know. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. For sure. Well, I think that's it for questions. Yeah. So. Thanks so Thanks, much, Eric. Guys. Thanks for I your time. I appreciate it. I no. appreciate it. I'm going to do a webinar in Ohio in 15 minutes. So. <laughs> okay. Well, awesome. get after from, it. From home to away. But it's nice. <laughs> I get to do it right here. No yeah, travel. Yeah, just sit right so there. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, everybody. Everybody stay safe and healthy. It's great to see both all three of you. So um, as soon as you guys feel good about a happy hour, let me know. Awesome. That sounds awesome. Thanks, yeah, Eric. we're Good in. Everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good stuff. I yeah. like Eric's just just a good guy, yeah. smart guy. Let's see here. I wanted to get No, my... and I do always like how he has the ability to kind of keep us connected to other states and what other markets are seeing because we get so caught up in what's going on in the Denver metro area that we don't realize that nationwide things can feel a, and look a little bit different. So it's neat to be able to talk to him and say, what's going on in Texas? What's going on in Ohio? What's going on here and there? Um, and he's got good connections. So knowledgeable and a good resource. Definitely. So I want to show you a new uh, system we've got here. Some of you, if you have logged into um, the Elevate, you might have seen this and gone, huh, what, what is this? So uh, when you log in, so we've got the new launch pad is what this is called. So let me go back over here. I think I've got this pulled up. Yeah, and I know a few of you were having trouble getting into Elevate this morning. There was some maintenance stuff going on, but I oh, think we'll okay. still be able to demo today. Yeah, we should be able to. So when you log into your... Uh, Elevate, you're going to see this over here now. Your launch pad progress. Please complete your tasks. So, what we have done, if you click on launch pad, what we have done is put together a list of training items that everybody should be familiar with. And this is great if you're brand new to equity and if you've been with equity it's a very good refresher because there's a lot of things that we have that you guys like eric said you, you don't need it until you need it and sometimes you don't know that it's even there because you didn't look so we have spent a ton of time putting this together corporate i think has done an amazing job and now we've got a great platform to keep tweaking this um to start with, let's say you're new to the company, not just brand new to the business, but new to the company. Maybe you came from somewhere else, right? The very first thing, make it official, make sure you have these things in order before proceeding. And if you click on the little drop down, right here, save your manager and broker's contact information to your phone, download to your phone or computer. And that might be good for any of you because occasionally I get an email to like an old email address that I once had because you've maybe been with the company a long time and you're sending to So everybody might want to go in here and you'll have our direct contact information, the most up to date. And, and then th I love that you have check boxes. And then so check boxes. Now you can yes. mark it off. So as completed. done. 
Oh, that, oh, that oh, feels, that feels good. good. And we got a little blue on, on the progress. On your progress bar. We got a long ways to go. <laughs> then create voicemail greeting. Do you have a voicemail greeting on your phone? I, I call agents and sometimes I all I get is, you've reached 303. This is a great opportunity to say, hi, this is Todd Schuster at Equity, please. So again, we have a video, how to do that and what it should sound like. Create your email signature. We've got a video. If you don't know how to create an email signature, we've created a video. And again, check, check the off. boxes that you're doing these things. Nice. And now, then I like the little circle oh, up here. Oh, it goes ding. green. Yeah, yes. all green. So we're all done with that one. Done. And we know at a quick glance, we've completed all those tasks. Complete your Elevate profile. Oh, I didn't, know, I didn't know there was a profile. And again, watch the video on how to change your password how to enter your information. Make sure that you got a professional picture. How to upload your photo. Review the tax tab. Make sure your taxes are correct as far as your W-9 that you've given us. And again, all of these have little videos and telling you how to do this. And if it's not working, which that one is which not. Which that one's not. <laughs> and like I said, this is, you just got this Beta. up there. There might be some issues here and there. Most of them are working. Uh, how to order your yard signs, how to order business cards. Here's an introduction to the market center that we just went over with Eric. But again, we've got videos in here and you can check that you've watched them. Uh Oh, did I just get kicked out? Yeah, it just see they're working on it this morning and we had somebody comment that we've got an internal error and that's because they're actually doing stuff yeah, right this minute. Yeah, it's under construction right of now. Course, of course, only when we do our sales. <laughs> of course. I should have told them this morning, do not be updating this. Ah, <laughs> uh, that always happens. So. Well, at least we got a quick little glance. But but so that's some real basic, basic stuff. stuff. Then it gets really in depth though. For So for those of you who've been with us, like I've got this all done, I got it up. No, no, we have training on here about lead-based paint we got training on how to complete a contract how to complete a listing how to uh mm -hmm. what other items in there i mean we've got so much it's in super here in depth. procedures yeah paperwork Proceed procedures yes i mean everything you can think of and that's what i wanted to highlight is all of the agents who have been with us for so long dive in because you'll be surprised at how much we've improved our systems over the years and you'll find some stuff that you didn't know was back there yeah, I think the last quick little note that I wanted to contribute, uh, you might see uh, some unfamiliar faces. Many of these videos are from uh, a lot of the corporate uh, mm -hmm. brokers, but over time, you'll slowly start seeing new videos that we've created and you'll see our faces on those videos as well. Um, but other than that, Todd, thank you for uh, moving my status bar along on my launch pad. <laughs> I know. You're getting stuff accomplished You're there, Paul. You're completing your task. <laughs> but, but again, so, Dive into the market center, spend an hour. Dive into the launch pad and go through the things that maybe you haven't been familiarized with yet mm -hmm. and, and check those boxes. Now for you brand new people, we're watching. We're watching. So I did a little <laughs> report of who's going through this and why we created this is we have put so much time and effort into creating templates and emails and PDFs and contracts pre-written and videos. And then we get a question on something that we've already discussed and shown. And, and we, we can't answer uh, every single question that we've created a video for. You know, there's a lot of uh, ordinary day-to-day -day questions that we've answered in a video or an email. And then we get a call just on it. We're like, we just made a video on that. So that's why we got this checklist. So, so you guys know where to go. That's it's the kind resource. of like a how to section now. You'll go there and say, oh, we've got um, information on how to do this and what this procedure is so that you know where to look now. So, yeah, start there. Start there, review, then ask. And that's the most efficient way we can maintain. I mean, we've been open now for 10 years and we're still the same fee. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first year I was. 549 plus 60. So we actually went down, we reduced the fee down to 499 like the second year in business. We have not raised our fee. And we're trying to keep it that way. And we're way. trying to keep it that but way. But to do that, we have to be very efficient. Very efficient. 
And we want you guys to be able to, you know, at your moment notice, go, oh, I need the answer. And so that's why we put this all together uh, with the checklist and you know where you've been and where to find stuff. Uh, and most of the stuff is based upon the most common questions that yeah. Paul gets, that I get, that Todd gets. Because if one person has that question, 20 people have that question. And so we're trying to preempt um, knowing that a lot of people are going to have very similar questions. So we're just going to hit all of those um, nuts and bolts for you guys. Yeah. It's just a great way for you to lead yourself and train yourself. That that leaves open the, the nice, fun conversations of how would you do this? Not how do I do this? Well, how do I do this is usually a very common, this is how you fill out a contract. This is, you know, that's kind of rote. You know, we can teach that very easily in a video. The I've got a client and I'm not sure that how we love you? those questions and helping you through those complex situations. But when it comes to just filling out a, a basic buyer contract or listing contract, check out the video, check out the, the uh, pre-templated stuff. So anyway, uh, Launchpad, check it out. It's cool. It should be up and running a little bit later today <laughs> uh, when they're not working on it. Anything else on that, Paul? Uh, only other thought is uh, keep checking the progress too because we are constantly adding and improving. This is going to be a long term thing and 50 other questions might come up and you'll see new videos and constant con content. Uh, so yeah, keep, keep diving into it and check it out for new, new content as well. Yeah, this will eventually be our training platform so that we can put all kinds of classes together and you'll be able to easily see what we have, self pace and check the boxes because we like seeing progress. It's yeah, fun. It's <laughs> so satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about Launchpad or um, anything with Elevate, even unrelated to what we're talking about, but Elevate specific? Um, while, while we wait, I think it's important to know I'm monitoring on Facebook and there's a good five, maybe three to five minute delay. So we might see some questions about Launchpad three to five minutes from now. So for oh, okay. so those watching, be patient. If it feels like we're not answering your questions, and, we will get them and we'll, we'll get back to you, but go ahead and write something down. Awesome. Yeah, we may have to toggle back, but Tia says um, Launchpad has been very helpful. So oh, good. I'm glad cool. that you're Yay. jumping in and utilizing it. That's awesome. Yeah. And feedback. Yeah. If, if you, you know, like we said, we just launched this. Uh, this went to the top of the line for priorities. I mean, at corporate, we're always working on stuff. And this idea came uh, from one of our owner uh, managers. And we are all like, oh my gosh, yes. this is this is what we need. We've created the YouTube channel, we've created Elevate, and we have all the content, but we don't know when you've seen it. We don't know if you, you know, how you've seen it. And we we're like, job number one. We stopped all of our other little programs that we were working on, and just dove into that. And this is why we have different videos from different managers so that we can get this built as quick as possible because we just saw that the benefit was huge. And now Paul and I and Stacy. We'll be making, you know, individualized videos for our own uh, brokerage here in Colorado, but the ones that are out there by the other managers, it, it's still They're the great. general stuff, mm -hmm. and it, it's just great. Yeah. So yeah, I'm we're excited. so excited. Very, very excited. Uh, okay. Yeah. Moving on. Let's jump forward. All right. So, company name change update. Let's not call <laughs> like, it a name not change. A name change. <laughs> and, and most of you are gonna go. Uh, that looks the same to me. Our actual name has always been Equity Colorado LLC. That was our legal name. And most people have been calling us Equity Colorado Real Estate because that's easier. And Paul, I need to actually change that. That is not. There you go. There we go. No LLC. <laughs> There's no LLC. Our. our company name that you guys will be using and you are probably using and it's on our logo already so if you've got the logo you're good is equity colorado real estate so we are officially that now which gets us in alignment with dora and what we're really been doing is advertising um, our signs say equity colorado real estate on them your logo does uh, but there are some of you that knew that you were supposed to be using Equity Colorado LLC and not Equity Colorado Real Estate. Those of you who are like, I've been doing it the right way the whole time, 
Awesome. You can now go to Equity Colorado Real Estate. Yeah, and we really want the general public to be able to identify very easily what our business is about. And just Equity Colorado, that could be a number of things. We don't know what Equity Colorado, but when it's followed by the real estate, the general public immediately knows what that means. So, and so it's a long story of how we got to Equity Colorado. <laughs> Back in the day when we first opened up, Brady Long, the owner of the company, back 10 years ago, um, he wanted all the states to be Equity Utah, Equity Colorado, Equity, and we didn't have the real estate. Mm -hmm. And because it was easier because real estate was taken by so many, so many other states. states. Um, so that's why we left it off. And I've always wanted it because it says who we are. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We, we actually went through all the work, changed the DBA, changed the entity, got it all aligned with Dora. So yeah, Equity Colorado you, Real Estate. You spent countless days doing oh, that. My so gosh. thank you for your time. Because <laughs> that was not an easy Secretary thing. of State. And yeah, it's not just an easy thing. But yeah, we got it. I'm, I'm excited. It's simple. It's good to go. Uh, so anyway. Equity Color Rattle Real Estate. Again, if you're using the logo, you've been great. You've been fine. Yeah. So, uh, anything to add to that, Paul? Nope, you nailed it. Nice job. All right. Uh, Pathway to Mastery class. One ninety-five. This is two hundred dollars off the regular cost, guys. I don't think it's ever been this low. It's never. It's He's. Never. We've never had a, a savings. I, I think if you were a uh, a prior Buffini person, he gave you a hundred dollars off, uh, so we've had some people do that. One ninety-five. If you've taken this five times, you should be doing it the sixth time. If you have never taken Pathway to Mastery, this is a must. Do not wait. Do not ask me if I'm going to teach it again. Um, no, I, I we might not teach this for another six, eight months. Yeah. And no better time than October to get ramped up, like Eric said, ready for the new year. Those of you who are working and are out there and doing the things, you're not gonna feel the winter slowdown because it will slow down, it always slows down in the winter, except for those who are working. So no better time, this begins October 19th, it's eight weeks, Stacy and I mentor online, starts at 10 a.m on zoom so we'll be online um those of you who have done it post in the comment section and just write in if you haven't taken this you need to right, i just need every single person who's ever done buffini to post in the comments right now and say yeah you've got to do this. well i'm going to preempt a shout out that we were going to do later um because i think pathway to mastery was something that this agent really grasped Oh, you're not taking um, away my thunder. I'm not going to take... Okay, I won't take away your thunder. Don't take away my thunder. So, I want to do this. Okay. You get to do it. Do you want to save it then? I, we'll, we'll circle back. Just you can, you can talk about it, but don't say who and okay. what. Okay, so this person joined Equity in January. New. New. Brand, Brand new. new. New licensee. Equity was her first stop. We told her to take Buffini, encouraged her to take Buffini, and she hopped on. She followed all of the tools, all of the guidance, used the equity systems as well. She has been Rock crushing it. it. Absolutely Rock crushing it. it. Um, yeah, so we'll announce in the next slide um, here in, in a few minutes who this person is, but she has sold a, a lot of homes for a brand new licensee. It's insane. And Buffini has really given her direction and dialogue. And for a brand new agent, she's crushing it. For an experienced agent of yeah. 20 years, she's, she would be crushing, she's crushing it. it. So yeah. I think Buffini was a huge contributor and she's just a very driven individual, but it-, it And it, so many though, so many yes. of our agents have taken it and do it. Again, you can't, it's not osmosis. You can't sleep on the manual and just or just watch and go oh that's wonderful again that's theory gotta practice you gotta practice you gotta put the stuff into practice and you gotta use our systems you, it's all there for you but, but you have just want to, to say, it do works. it works it works it works and we just have so many success stories so many so, so many. many so if you have not if you're going oh i don't know if i want to take it i don't maybe i'll do it next spring no no do it you might now. not be in the business next spring let us help you. Frankly, you might not be in business by next spring. 
if, if you're like, eh, 195 bucks is a little tight, there's a good chance you won't be here next spring. Period. That's, just, I, I mean, I can't be any more blunt than that. And if you've taken it and you're not crushing it, that's because you're not applying it. Mm -hmm. So take it again. Take it you again. might be at a different place in your life now where you're more acceptant of the information and you're more willing to do the job. Because a lot of people go to these things and go, it sounds great. But I don't know if I can do work. that. I feel it's uncomfortable. Hard. And then you kind of drift and two months later, you're not doing anything and you're like, what else is out there? Um, can't door knock. Not that that was ever a good thing, but you can't door knock. <laughs> not right now. Open Give you a, a yellow book and just pick up the phone. Call. You don't want to do that. If you can't do this stuff, you're not going to do the harder stuff that's less effective. Anyway, I can't give it a bigger plug than that. Other than we'll talk about awards and people who are crushing it during a pandemic. Yes. <laughs> well, I do have to say Mindy Sanders, thanks for the shout out. She says Buffini's great. Beth Goddard says you have to do this class and has like who? three Beth Goddard. Beth Goddard has, says it. Yeah, has like three exclamation points behind her comment. So yeah, two raving reviews right there. Well, if Beth Goddard says it. Well, if Beth Goddard says it, since she um, is one of our major award winners. There you go again, <laughs> trying to take away <laughs> my thunder. I'm not. We didn't get to do the drum roll. Drum, drum it, Paul. Wow, this is... look at all of these power professionals. How many do we have here on this slide? So uh, all I know is during a pandemic, the July award winners, you guys all crushed it. You're yeah. all working. You're all figuring out how to do real estate in this new environment and do it professionally and correctly and thoughtfully with your masks and with your sanitizer and with your gloves and the awkwardness and you're crushing it. But Beth Goddard says you need get, you guys need to take Buffini. She's been with us since January as a brand new agent in the month of July. Eight million dollars closed sales, six transactions. Wow. All right. Eight million dollars in one month, guys. That is not her first month of closings. I mean, she has been doing a wonderful job this entire time, but I can't give a bigger shout out than that. And I, I want to see a bunch of thumbs up. Congratulations. I mean, that's just killing it. $8 million. But look at this. Kristen Wiley, six transactions. Brooke Van Havermat, five transactions. Eileen, four. Jim, four. Diane, four. Julie, three. You guys are killing it. Greg, Priscilla, Lisa, Will, Mark, Aaron, Najud, Michael, Dominic, Casey. All of you guys did three transactions. Yeah. In a crazy environment, and the rest of you, all doing two transactions. That's 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 awesome. So I'm just so good job to yeah. everybody. July so, so was proud. just uh, you guys were slammed, and I know you're tearing your hair out, and you're doing everything you possibly can to help your clients and be great resources. And yeah, you are just excelling. And really, we're seeing August. It's, August is the, crazy much too. Much of the same. Yeah, Much of the we same. mentioned uh, in a post that we did 158 closings in, in July, July, which is the most closings we've ever had in a given month, any month, uh, mm -hmm. by about 40. I think I think our biggest month was maybe 120, around there. I mean, so killed it. And, and you saw Denver on a whole. It was like a record month. So. Everyone had a fabulous mom. Yeah, I was sitting in a title company yesterday um, at a closing and they were just talking about how they are bringing extra support staff in because they can't keep up with the volume. And August is just as busy yeah. as July was. Yeah, so. we're already over 50 closings for the month with, and it's the 11th. Today's yeah. the 12th, we haven't had our closings yet. And Whatever we you usually guys are have doing, you're doing right. Keep going. <laughs> Winders on, yep. head down, stay away from the news. Stay thing. away from negativity and do your thing. And that's what you guys are doing. I yeah. mean, that's that's amazing. So congratulations, guys. Paul. 
great job. Yeah, keep it up. And Buffini is fun. That's the other thing that I wanted to just quickly mention. <laughs> yes, it's, fun. it's not a it's not a chore. You guys will have fun. You'll meet equity agents. And what's the quote I just read the other day? When we improve ourselves, everything around us improves as well. I don't you, you don't need anything else other than that. Boom. There's Boom. no mic drop for the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Buffini's funny. Like, we sit here and we laugh, and we've seen these videos numerous times, and it's just, yeah, it's a good time. Oh, yeah. I it's mean, a it, real it, good yeah, time. It's, it's fun. So, anyway, uh, a few quick well power professional announcements. Um, we will send you your electronic certificates, and then uh, our luncheons obviously are still postponed right now. So, um, like I said at the beginning of the meeting, I don't know when we're all going to get together, mm. but trust us, when we can when we get can, together safely with a large gathering, because I know there's some out there who say, hey, we can, we'll do it. Yeah, well, if I only get half of the people that normally come, it's just not worth it to, to put together something. I want as many people as possible getting together, feeling good, feeling safe, and, and we will, trust me, have a party. Yeah. It will be a party. Mm -hmm. So it will be good. Yeah. So I'm excited about that, and but I don't know when. Uh, new and coming soon listings. Share your listings by providing a link to your virtual tour or website. We'll put it up on the screen. And again, uh, we'll send letters to your clients, uh, letting them know that you have, um, you know, promoted, promoted, gone above and beyond, and promoted that to our company, uh, which is one of the biggest companies in. Denver so yeah so if you post your listing in the comment section below then send me an email or send it through the support line um, with your name your seller's name and the property address and we will send out that listing letter um, and we can also provide a copy to you via email just so you know what went out but it's a really cool plug to you as an agent um, and just lets them know that you are aggressively marketing their property so it's neat any questions Think you're scrolling through i'm and... scrolling so let's see here uh deb took buffini's program back in the 90s which really boosted her business when she was new probably time for a refresher yes oh, yeah. he's it's really changed. He, he, it's changed he, he he's Repackaged he's brought it up it. and even if it hadn't changed it's just a refresher for all of us i mean stacy and i are teaching this thing a couple of times a year and it's good for us mm -hmm. i mean so i'm doing that twice a year so if you haven't done it for two, three, five years, take it, Deb. We'd love to have you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Larry Kendall's Ninja Program, awesome. Uh, Eric and Mariah are up doing that right now. I mean, you can't get too much training. You really can't. Um, Ginger, no, I'm not limiting the amount of uh, attendees. Yeah, but, since we're doing it on Zoom, yeah. you can, you know. We can accommodate, accommodate. more. Yeah. Um, but get signed up. Soon. Yeah, because usually we have to put a limit on 12 because we can only have so many people in the conference room. Well, and it's tough. I mean, you know, to, to manage that many people at the same time to make sure everyone gets their, you know, thoughts spoken. And so, yeah, it's not going to be 30 people. I can tell you that, you know, mm -hmm. we'll keep it probably 15 to 20. But uh, don't worry about that. We won't, we won't kick people out. We want people in. And lots of congratulations to Beth. So... Yeah, and con again, congratulations to, to everybody. everyone. But a special shout out. That's just, that's just exciting. It's exciting, yeah. and uh, we want to start bringing people back on to our Tuesday talk. Um, reach out to us if if you'd like to do a Tuesday talk with us. People love hearing your guys' stories, and we're gonna reach out to Beth and go. What are you doing? What are you doing? How'd you do this? So we'll see if Beth will uh, take us up on uh, showing up and just sharing how she's getting by and, and, and doing this. This is awesome. Anything else? Uh, uh, people are posting their new properties. Great. I think that's it. I think that's it. Post your, your, your coming soons, uh, new listings, anything. We miss you guys in, in person, uh, but this will do. Yeah, this will thank do you for, now. for joining us yeah. online. So we look forward to seeing everybody. Tuesday yeah, talk next Tuesday. Yeah. Um, what else I got? Oh, did you guys get the email that Aurora is voting to merge with Smedra? So the Aurora the Aurora Board. Association uh, Board of Realtors. They got rid of their building. They've been a smaller board. They were financially just 
you know, not, not that big and it's really hard to, to make it uh, being small. Mm -hmm. And so they're looking to merge. It's been approved by the board of directors from Smedra. It's been approved by the board of directors of Aurora. It's now up to Smedra members. So we get to vote and Aurora members get to vote. So please uh, take a look at this in your emails. I'll probably even send something out. It's, I think it's a, a great benefit for Aurora members to be part of Smedra. Uh, Smedra obviously has done a great job. I mean, free education, the lock boxes, the beautiful building that we don't get to go to right now, but I can't <laughs> oh, well. wait to go back. It's gorgeous. Um, but I'd love to see that merger. I, I think that would really help Aurora and Smedra. Um, you know, the, the more together, the stronger we are. So please take a look at your, your emails and vote. Mm -hmm. We need you to vote. Um, and I'll send out a special link as well, uh, at least on the yeah, Facebook that page, because that's important. So anyway, have a great week, guys. Yeah. Um, keep killing it. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe. Stay sane. Stay busy. And we're here for your support, as always. We're here. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you guys. Bye.